Hi John, really great to meet you for the first time the other day and start doing some work on your game. Um, first of all, can I just say um, how, how far you've come in the past few months having swapped from left to right handed is quite remarkable in the first place. Um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way, I think, it's, I think that takes some guts to do what you've done and to do it as well as you've done it as well. So one or two things that we noticed straight away we know that you, your iron striking has been good um, the problem you've had has been to do with your, your higher bridge of fairway woods off the fairway not so much off the tee big reason we found for that was, was trying to keep your, your upper centre stable into the downswing so just to get this going for you on the left hand side was one of your early ones we'll just take it back you can see you've worked a lot on working the left shoulder down and you can't so much see it from this angle but working the arms in very very well. This is now where it starts to go a little bit wrong for you. So you've got your upper lower centre, you know, as we call it, stacked on top of each other. Really, really good. What do you think? What we like to see from here now would be your lower half to work this way, and then as the lo as the lower half works forward in a, a linear motion, the upper centre would stay stable. So your lower centre would work this way, giving you some spine angle, giving you a bit of um, a little bit of spine tilt forward. And that's what we were looking for. However, what started to happen is instead of the lower half moving forward, we're finding that the upper centre moves this way. We just start down. Just jump ahead a little bit there. So you can see it straight away with, with no spine tilt with the lower body. If anything, we're working this way a touch. And that's creating, obviously, a very steep angle of approach and we hit a lot of you know quite heavy shots you can see here like the size of a divot going with a hybrid there is quite excessive um, I'm just getting rid of some of these lines for you here you can see this here okay so your, your upper half has moved forward and that's not really what we want just continue this through here you know, there's, very, there's no separation between your upper and your lower centre if anything the only separation you're getting is your upper centre moving forward. So that's not what we really want to see in the, like seeing the stack and tilt system. We've got Charlie in the middle here just to give you a good example. If we just start this back, it jolts it. Okay, so we're top of the back swing. Excuse me. Top of the back swing here, okay. So I'll put the line at the side of his head just to give you an idea. Now what's going to happen with Charlie now is you're going to see his lower half work forwards, his upper sense is going to stay stable and that's going to give him that spine tilt that, that we talked about. Okay, so you can see here, left knee, left hip are both working towards the target and that gives him some spine angle through, the, through impact and that's obviously going to bring the club out of its descent but also as well, the lower half working forward also helps to pull the arms in on the way down, keep them against your body, get them working more out through impact. So if we just compare the two P8, so to speak. Speed this up a little. Okay, so you can see here, just get rid of these lines no separation between the upper and the lower body like I say if anything your upper sensor is the one that's moved forward whereas if you see Charlie here you can see the upper sensor stayed stable lower sensors moved forward and then obviously tucking the hips more and more on the way through let's just have a look here this is a little bit later on in the session just highlight again just highlighted sort of just next to your head just to give you an idea and what we've done is here is set up is we've pushed your lower centre forward 
a few inches straight away just to give you the feel of the lower centre moving forward so if we just start back let's have a look at the difference there straight away you can see you have a little bit of spine tilt here already not a lot but it's enough to get you started so if we move back the thought was to obviously keep the lower centre forward throughout the backswing so you can see there I know it looks as though your spine's flexed forward slightly but your upper centre's not moved so that's fine that's what we're looking for and then as you're starting down you feel was to try and I was um, as we were doing a lot of practice swings with a, a club next to your left ear so then your head wouldn't move forward and you would feel as though your your hips would be tucking more on the way down see that there straight away so you can already see a massive difference here straight away if we stop at P6 there on the way down okay earlier on like I say no separation at all if we go to where you were later on we've got lower just definitely move forward and then the feel there was to tuck the hips more definitely getting more into that position that Charlie's getting into the lower body's now ahead so the hip, your left hip and your pelvis is now becoming the furthest point forward Whereas here you can see your chest obviously over your over your pelvis, a little bit too far forward. And you're always going to struggle to hit a high soft draw from that position. Whereas this one on the right hand side here you can see straight away. Much, much softer finish as well. All in all pretty good 45 minutes work. Best of luck with it John, I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye bye for now.